so this is probably the best build with the new warlock exotics and also the best explanation of what the new exotic does if you can see right now i have three void souls up but not only three but you can have as many as you can juggle so i already sent out like three void souls over there go there goes the fourth one there goes the fifth one so i have nothing but void souls laying around the floor it's like what's the point of having void souls void souls weaken the enemy defeat the enemy entangle the enemy just like if it was a hunter's tether where it, it grabs them all together and the second you do damage to one it chains everything and on top of that the new exotics will make them even better allowing them to stay longer on the field allowing them to do more damage and as they do damage they gain more damage and as they do more damage and gain more damage they also gain more dur durability and you can also go grab them to redeploy them so it's like you can do so much now with these void souls compared to what you can do before so they were already good but now they're even better i don't know if you guys are paying attention to the screen but look at my look at my class ability look at my nade look at the void souls weakening everybody and if you also pay attention my class ability is not set to healing it's set to empowering so it's boosting my weapon damage by 15 percent and the void soul that's roaming around is weakening everything by 15 percent so we end up actually having this 30 percent buff consistently not just for me for also anybody that's sitting in my rift or well or whatever it's called and shooting at the enemies that are attacked by the void souls i think this build is very very insane and might be useful for day one and believe it or not the build gets even much better when you start pairing it with other weapons i wanted to show you guys with a random scout rifle that had wellspring and a recharge in my ability but once you start pulling out the touch of malice once you start pulling out heavy machine guns with demolitionists once you start using other weapons that have demolitionists this will go even crazier but before we get into that let me go ahead and explain how you do this step by step or give you guys like a starting route on how this build works so the way i like to get the build kind of started is like this if you notice i already have a void soul the first thing i do is i send it out then i get my class ability so i send that out the void soul from here you can use your nades you can use your melee you can grab one of your void souls and if you notice i have my class ability already at the moment, I'm just waiting for a couple enemies to spawn, but the second the enemies spawn, I send out the Void Soul. I grab the one that's currently under me. I send it out to the other locations. By now, I already have a class ability, so I get to send out another Void Soul. I already have my grenade. I defeat those targets. I get another class ability. I send out another Void Soul. Those Void Souls are defeating targets, giving me back my class ability, giving me back my nades, and it's hard to explain because so much is happening, but I already got another Void Soul. It's sending it out to the middle. My class ability is already back. My nade is about to come back and everything is consistently working and chaining together so the first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is the stats for the build for the warlock for the most part you normally go resilience first recovery second and discipline last resilience first because it's going to resist damage from every enemy coming like hitting you in the game recovery because it works on your class ability plus it can heal you or empower you and then finally your grenade so you can grenades can come back faster so moving on to the armor the first thing we got is the helmet for the first mod we got ashes to assets and we have two harmonic siphons so our orbs can be nice and chunky moving on to the exotic arms this is what really making everything happen in terms of the void soul we got the briar binds i'm not sure if that's how you really pronounce it but this is the description moving on to the mods we have focusing strike whenever you do damage with the melee it gives you back class ability we have bolstering detonation. Whenever you do damage with a grenade, it gives you back your class ability. And whenever you defeat something with your nade, it gives you back an orb. So that's firepower. Moving on to the chest piece. These don't really matter. These change depending on what activity you're doing and do defensive mods and defensive perks. Moving on to the boots. We have one mod of insulation. Every time I pick up an orb, it gives me back my class ability. And I have two mods of innervation. And every time I pick up an orb, it gives me nade energy moving on to the class ability we have utility kickstarter so whenever i have orbs or whenever i have armor charges and i use my class ability it allows me to keep my class ability and then i have two bombers which is every time i use my class ability it gives me nade energy so if you use them properly you use your abilities when you really need them and not just spamming them and clicking buttons and just you know whenever you have your grenade you do your class ability which means kind of wastes your grenade energy because every time you lose your like you want to use them properly moving on to the actual build itself this is very optional and a lot of this can change but starting off with the empowering rift this can easily be healing rift if you feel like you need the heals you can switch it up 
The jump that I use is burst glides. It feels really nice to move around with that jump. We have the melee, the only one you can use. The nade, I probably recommend Vortex because it's stronger, but I really like Scatter because it just defeats the targets. Um, I'm not sure, maybe for higher level content, I'll switch it up for Vortex, but it's just so nice to need that one whenever I need that heal or whenever I need to chain an ability or whenever I need to get things going, I can just throw the scatter and then it just, you know, it does, it does the job. It take care of his business. Moving on to the aspect, the one we have is Child of Gods, and this is what's allowing us to gain back our abilities every time we send out our Void Souls. And since we're sending out a lot of Void Souls, this is what's giving back our class ability, our nade ability, our heals, our melee, and all of those are being used to chain it back. That gives us back even more uh, class ability, more ability. The next one we have is Feed the Void, and this is Devour. Whenever I get a defeat with abilities, um, Devour gets started, and whenever you have Devour, every defeat gives you grenade energy, and you start healing. Moving on to the fragments. The fragments can be extremely interchangeable. These are not set in stone. You can switch these up to whatever you want. But starting off with the first one, void abilities make targets explode. I'm not sure if this is even really needed. If this is a must, I haven't done fully like a lot of testing around it, but this is what whenever I defeat something with void ability, it makes things go boom, 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 or kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Moving on to the next one. This is more for higher level content, but it also helps out my stats. Whenever I do a finisher, it gives me invisibility and it also gives me 10 recovery. Moving on to the next one, we have instability. Defeating targets with void grenades gives me volatile rounds. So whenever my, uh, you know, whenever my grenades defeat stuff and I have void weapons on me, I can start making everything volatile and also make everything go kaboom, kaboom, kaboom and start chaining. And finally, we have melee final blows start health regeneration, which is also really not needed at all because I have a lot of heal. So this can be anything else, but it also helps my stats. So again, these are not in set in stone. These can be changed to whatever you need. For example, I really would change maybe this one right here for the orb one. Picking up an orb and giving you devour is really, really nice whenever you're weak. You can just grab an orb it gives you full health it gets devoured going you get the defeat from there you start getting nade energy you start getting health again this is a really really good one if you feel like you need it um another good one could be like there's, there's a lot of options you could even use the one where your melee gives you back your nade energy uh damaging targets no not this one um melee final blows grenade uh grant grenade energy so if you feel like you even need more grenade energy that could be used in there so you have options. You can switch it up. You can mix it up when it comes to the fragments. In terms of weapons, I really recommend weapons that have demolitionist so you can get back your grenade. So whenever you have devour, these things change. So devour will give you nade energy and then demolitionist will give you nade energy. And since you're already throwing a bunch of nades, that means you'll never really have to reload. So really, really, really good combination. And also we have wellspring. Wellspring is really good because Again, the void souls is tagging the enemy. The enemy is giving you all their like energy. They're, you know, you're, you're debuffing them. So you're getting their melee energy. You're getting their health. You're getting grenade energy. So on top of defeating them uh, with with Wellspring, uh, with Wellspring, when you defeat them, you're also gaining more ability energy for all your uncharged abilities. So it's a really nice way to just always spamming your abilities like you've been seeing in the clips. But this is it for the build. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.